Isaiah chapter 55, verse 1, King James Version Bible. Everyone that thirsteth, come ye to the waters. He that hath no money, come ye, buy and eat. Yea, come, buy wine and milk without money and without price. The Gospel of Jesus Christ, the Holy Bible, and the original Hebrew and Greek text, and the King James Version Bible, has everything that a Christian will ever need. It's like one-stop shopping. You need to grow a backbone so you can get up and speak out against the sin and the filth in this world. You can find it in the Bible. Are you suffering from temptation? Are you in sin, living in sin patterns that have turned into iniquities and you need help? You can find that strength in the Holy Bible. Are you suffering through terrible loss in your life, through tragedy? You can find the strength to stand in the Holy Bible. It's not just for salvation, my friends. It's not, that's the most important thing of all, obviously, that Jesus Christ died for our sins. And he rose again on the third day, praise the Lord, and went back to heaven after he finished his time on earth, making his last appearances. But it's everything a Christian will ever need. It's love when all we have around us is hatred. It's joy for our souls and our spirits when all we have around us is sorrow. It's kindness and gentleness when all we have is just evil and cruelty in the world. It's everything for us, my friends. You can open up the Bible and always find something from Jesus Christ. Find some word he's got for you. We all suffer trials and tribulations. We all spend a lot of time in the valley. But the Holy Bible will bring us back to the mountaintop. It will help ease our suffering and take it away. And understand, Jesus Christ is always there with us. I hear from so many people, they don't feel Jesus near them. They feel like they're all alone. They feel like they're just they're just wrapped up in sin and Jesus, they repent, but Jesus, they don't feel him there. Jesus Christ is always there, my friends. He's always holding us up. He's lifting us up in times of trouble. That's just Satan trying to steal your joy. That's just Satan trying to make you think Jesus is no longer there so he can drive you away and take away your joy and steal your joy and steal your salvation to drive you back into a life of sin. The Holy Bible is there to help us with that, my friends. It's our food. It's our water. We need to, to read the Holy Bible every day, as I say in all my videos at the end. If It'll feed our spirit and soul daily if we read it every day. It's like food and water for our body, but it's for our spirit and soul. Reading the Holy Bible and praying every day are the most important things we can do. Yeah, we need to witness to the lost always, definitely every day. We need to make sure we keep our own house in order every day, yes, but read the Word and pray every day. That's how you get filled with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is contained in the Holy Bible. He speaks to you when you pray. That's how you get filled with the Spirit right there. It's not through some walking up to an altar and having somebody go blow on you or wave their hand or tell you to start speaking gibberish. The Holy Spirit lives and dwells in the Holy Bible. That's how you get filled with him by praying and reading the word. So understand, my friends, yes, use the Holy Bible to win those who are lost to Jesus Christ, to point them to his cross. We can save them with his precious blood. But remember, the Holy Bible is our one-stop shopping. It's everything we'll ever need contained in one precious, irreplaceable book. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you so much for the Holy Bible. It's, it, it's just... It's unmatched. Uh, couldn't, couldn't live without it. The Holy Bible, the Holy Spirit, those just irreplaceable. I pray that you would just help people to understand this and just help people to embrace the Bible, to embrace your word, to embrace prayer, and to make this the most important part of, the, of our days and to always just stay in it, Jesus, because it's so important. We have to be fed. We have to be nourished. We have to stay in communication with the Holy Spirit. I pray that you just wake people up to this and help them to realize how important these things are in our lives. I ask this in Jesus' precious name. Amen. If you watch this video and don't know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, pray this prayer with me. Jesus, I know I've sinned. I've done bad things in my life, and I'm sorry. I believe you came to earth. I believe you died on the cross for my sins. I believe you rose again the third day and went back to heaven to be at the right-hand side of the Father. Since that time, you've been making a place in heaven for all Christians forever. Please forgive me my sins, Jesus. Come and live in my heart. Wash my heart white as snow. Make me a new creature in Christ, a child of the King. In your precious name I ask it. Amen. You pray this prayer, Jesus says that all who come to me and ask shall be saved. And once you get saved, get you that King James Version Bible I was telling you about. The living, breathing Word of God, it will feed your spirit and soul every day if you read it. 
Pray to Jesus every day. He loves you. He wants to talk to you daily. Go to a church and get water baptized as soon as possible. Pray to be sanctified, filled with the Holy Spirit from head to toe as you draw closer to Christ in what little time we have left before the imminent rapture. Take your Bible to church. Open it and read it when you're listening to people like me and everybody on YouTube and Facebook all across the Internet. If what we say don't match the Bible, close your Bible, get up and walk out of church. and meet. No, wait for the service to end. To walk out immediately. Turn off the YouTube channels. Unsubscribe. Unsubscribe from Facebook friends. You cannot be around people preaching false doctrines and lies. Run away from them as fast as you can. It's very important. If you have questions, comments, concerns, you want me to pray for anything, from a terminal illness to a sick pet, anything in between, contact me here. I have the gift of faith, mustard seed faith. I see miracles every day through my ministries. Every day, all for the power, honor, glory, strength, and might and praise of Jesus Christ. Nothing to do with me. I'm a slave. Like the Apostle Paul before me, I'm a slave for Jesus Christ. I'm the lowest of low. I'm nobody. But I will pray for you, expecting that miracle every day. I know God will perform it if it's within his holy will. Please share the link to this channel, this video, other videos with friends, neighbors, co-workers, loved ones with strangers. Drop it in a blog somewhere. Plant the seed and walk away. Let God water as it can grow. We have to get the word of God out. Preach the way it's written in the Bible. Not the soft soap, powder puff, cotton candy fluff. All the garbage you hear across most pulpits and across the internet. But the truth from the word of God. The way I preach it here on this channel. Not because I'm anything, because God's everything. I love you guys. I pray for you every day. May God bless you.